name is Swaggy C, and I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. How does a kid get the name Swaggy C? Oh, that's easy. I thought you were about to say, how does a kid from Bridgeport get on the show? Like, that's <laughs> different. On, on Swaggy C, that's just how I dress, how I act, how I carry myself, my hairstyle, my lifestyle. Like, just came up with it after Nick Young, you know, came up with, like, a little version of it and then ran with it, so. All right. So why does Swaggy C want to do Big Brother? I mean, I've been watching Big Brother since Big Brother 8, and I've been a fan since then for the last 12 years, and I feel like I'd be really great on it, like, you know, in terms of my physical abilities. I have a photographic memory. I'm good with, you know, people and relating to them. So I auditioned first time, and I got on. So hey, not surprised at all, <laughs> at all. So would you consider yourself a super fan or...? Yeah, yeah, I consider myself a super fan with the strength that I've watched I started with Big Brother 8, but I went back and watched every single season. Like, I studied everything. Like, even when they told me, okay, you are you may have a chance to get on the show, I went back and watched, like, a lot of seasons as a player. Like, it's a, it's a big difference. So, wow. I'm a super fan, definitely. I love the show. Okay. So, going into this game, is there a Big Brother vet that you're kind of taking inspiration from? No. I'm, I'm going in there and being my game. I love, you know, Paul from the last two seasons and Dan from 10 and 14, but I'm going in there. I'm playing my own game. It's a new season. There's new players. There's new twists. There's new everything, so I can't go in there and try to emulate Paul and Dan. It was different times and different players and different twists for his season, so I'm being myself. Yeah, it's Big Brother 20. Yeah, it's the 20th season. Everybody needs to get hyper for it because this is going to be the biggest season out there. Like, whether it's just, like, whether they bring vets back or not, whether it's just straight newbies, like, it's going to be the biggest season, the most twist no matter what. So everybody should be excited for it because I know when I move in, I'm going to be excited. So, <laughs> Is there a dream twist you'd like to see this season? Yeah, no freaking vets. Let's, let's play the game ourselves. I don't want to see none of them vets come back, but... Chances are the vets will come back, and I'm ready for whoever comes back, man. Who would you be okay with coming back? Vanessa Russo from Big Brother 17. I feel like she played the game great. I feel like she was loyal to a fault. You know, it ended up, you know, she lost in the final three. I don't want to see Paul back, even though he's my favorite player ever. I don't want to see him back. Don't want to see Dan back and everybody else. I don't really care too much to even you know, recognize. But Vanessa, I, I can see myself working with Vanessa, honestly. Okay. But you're hoping for a back to basics season. Just go of Big back Brother. to basics. Like, go back to 16 and 17. We're straight newbies and give us a shot. Because 20th, I know they want to do a grand year where it's like, okay, everything comes together. It's the 20th year, the 20th season. Okay, we got to do something out of the ordinary and maybe bring some vets back. But then at the end of the day, like, that's not the only twist. There's more twists involved. So right. it's like, it could be a twist every week, like Big Brother 17, or just one big twist. So I don't know what it is. But I'm. I'm expecting anything right now at this point. Expect the unexpected. At this point, man. This game can get kind of vicious. Uh-huh. On a scale of, let's say, Victoria to Dr. Will. Victoria who? Exactly. Oh, I'm not, oh uh, <laughs> 16, 16. I get yes. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on that scale of yeah. Victoria to Dr. Will, how yeah. vicious will you get? I wouldn't even say Will. I'd say Dan is probably the, the most vicious player okay. ever. But I, I'd probably reach Dan's point. The one thing I, w I won't do, which is what I said, is swear on Jesus Christ. But other than that, I'll do anything in the game to get me further. I don't care how vicious it is. Like, I'm going to do whatever I can. Like, what is, like, manipulating people. Whatever I can do to get further in the game, I'm going to do. Nothing is off limits. Nothing. All right. Eye it's, on that prize at the end. Nothing is off limits. No showman's, like, anything that gets me further, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm with all that noise. All right. So if a showman's was in your favor, you'd jump into a showman's? If it was in my favor, but I feel like what's in my favor is like controlling a showman. So like people who are in a showman, me being that third wheel because I'm always under the radar. Like if I'm in a showman, I'm always gonna be the bigger target. Like at the end of the day, like Rachel and Brendan, Brendan went home. Jordan and Jeff, Jeff went home. Like the girl wins, the guy goes home. So I'm not trying to be involved in that. Like I'll be under that. Like I'm trying to be the third wheel. So learn from Big Brother history. You got it. You got to. You got to play the numbers. Going into this game, is there anything that you're going to keep a secret from your house guests? The fact that I'm a day trader and I have a photographic memory, I don't want nobody to know that because they could use that to my adv uh, their advantage, saying, okay, he's good with numbers, he may be good at this competition, let's get him out now, we got the chance. I'm just going to go in there and play stupid, act like I'm a former college basketball player, just as that, and have them, you know, kind of theorize whatever they want about me. But I'm keeping that a secret. Nobody's knowing that I can remember things that easily. Okay. Is there anything from your past that you're worried might come out? In terms of, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm from the hood, so like maybe, maybe like the lifestyle there. But other than that, no, anything can come out. I don't care what comes out, whether it's an ex-girlfriend or or my family. Anything can come out. I'm not scared of my past. It, it, like brought me here, it got yeah. me here, so I don't care. Okay, you are potentially going away for three months. Yeah. 
What are you going to miss most about the outside world? The NBA. And the NBA doesn't go on in the summer, but the free agency. Like, I'm, I'm giving up missing LeBron's decision to be on Big Brother. Like, that is huge. Like, all that free agency stuff, that's huge to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that social media and the followings and girls texting me and my, my guy for, like, the, the group chat for the basketball team. Like, all of that. That can go away. I'll see y'all in October or September. But, like, the, the free agency of the NBA, like, I need that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something I'm going to be thinking about. So Right. That's not a moment you can recreate. I, I, I can't recreate. Create Twitter in the madness when okay LeBron goes to the Rockets or or Chris Paul does I can't recreate that you know what I'm saying I gotta come out oh this happened well it's good to know like you know what I'm saying like so that's one thing I miss okay on the flip side is there anything you're excited to not have to deal with for three months a person a... girls my ex girlfriend <laughs> I don't want to talk to her I don't want to hear from her I don't want to hear uh, all everybody else I have problems with a lot of people I have problems with. I don't want to hear none of that I want to go on a show with 15 strangers whoever comes back comes back and then have fun with them I don't want to deal with none of the drama in the outside real world because it's fake drama like if it was bills that's different but it's people that's fake drama we don't I don't got time for that like I'm a grown ass adult now I'm 23 <laughs> like. I don't got time for that, so. Is there a lot of drama back home? Yes, there's a lot of drama back home. There's a lot of, I came here at the perfect time, literally. Like, there was drama in my life. Like, I got kidnapped last week. The day before that, it was drama. Got kidnapped? Kidnapped. I call Ex it kidnapped. How are you kidnapped? They came to my state. They picked me up and took my phone and said, you can't have it no more, and took me to L.A. Oh, you were kidnapped to prison? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you thought I meant kidnapped in I general? I thought you just had, like, a random I'm kidnap not, experience. Like, I was like, what? that hood. Like, nah, well, nah, nah, I was nah, like, nah, okay, nah. there is some drama back <laughs> home. You were just kidnapped. Big Brother kidnapped me. Before that, it was a lot of drama. I'm glad to get away from all that. A lot of girl life. drama. A lot of girl, girl drama um, and just, just people in general, like old friends, like, not talking as much and, like, just drama for no reason, negativity. I don't need any of that right now. All right. You're so, in the positive zone. Yeah, unless I'm backdoor. Then I'm back to negativity. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of that again. So we'll see. Well, why are you going to win this season of Big Brother? Because I'm Swaggy C and I'm going in there with a crazy personality that nobody you know, has had before. And at the end of the day, like people may think I'm going in there as cocky and as the alpha male. I plan on playing the, the middle scale and letting everybody you know do their little fights. I plan on getting fights and being confrontational, but I don't want to have a fight every single week and get myself out of there, you know, out the house myself. Make it to jury, survive double eviction, then after that, I'll be set for 500K. I want to be, like, my goal right now is to be the first person of color to win Big Brother. Like, it's my, that's my only goal. To get on the show, survive a uh, jury, survive double eviction, and then win the show. That's my only goal. Uh, everything else other than that is noise. Showmances, noise. I don't want to hear none of it. I'm going on the show to win, and that's it. You are a determined that's man. That's it. I don't want to hear nothing else. Like, nothing else is in, like, I, I see, I'm tunnel vision right now. I don't, like, everything else is just noise right now to me, so...